go. I am the last person standing between you and your after party. So in just an hour and 15 minutes, you'll be walking out of here, all right? I'm going to break Jay Leno's record tonight. Strap in. Here we go. Good evening, Mr. President, or as Paul Ryan refers to you, yet another inner city minority relying on the federal government to feed and house your family. I'm a big fan of President Obama. I think he's one of the all-time great presidents, definitely in the top 50. Please explain that to Jessica Simpson. You're right. That was low. All right. How about the president's performance tonight, everyone? <laughs> Sir, it, it is, it's amazing that you can still bring it with fresh, hilarious material. And my, uh, my favorite bit of yours was when you said you'd close the detention facility at Guantanamo Bay. That was a classic. That was hilarious. Hilarious. Still going. Um, I'd like to uh, take a moment to recognize the First Lady, Mrs. Obama. You have been very kind to me and my family, especially when you showed us all how to tear a phone book in half with your bare hands. That was, it was incredible. I'd also like to thank the White House Correspondents Association for having me and for not being able to book Jimmy Fallon. That's true. All right. Um, look, um... I know it's been a long night, but I promise that tonight will be both amusing and over quickly, just like Chris Christie's presidential bit. I got a lot of these tonight, so uh, buckle up, Governor Christie. Excuse me. Extender buckle up. All right. Um, no. I deserve that. I, I agree on that one. That You're right on. Now, allow me to tell you a little about myself. My name is Joel McHale. I'm on an NBC show called Community. That's exactly what I thought. I also host a show called The Soup, which is on the E! Network. Thank you. To Republicans in attendance, E! is the channel that your deeply closeted gay son likes to watch. Democrats, it's the same channel that your happy, openly gay son likes to watch. He is also home to the Kardashians, who, believe it or not, are Republicans. And I know that because they're always trying to screw black people. Yep. Now just the men. Uh, okay. Um, uh, it's an honor to be here tonight at the Washington Hilton. I'm tingling with excitement. Or maybe that's just the bed bugs. I hope you all enjoyed your dinner. The filet tonight was grass-fed beef, freshly dragged off the Clive and Bundy Ranch. The steaks are very tasty once you pull off the tiny white hoods. Oh, see, oh, you like Clive and Bundy. Okay, I get it. All right, great. All right, let it be known. Let the record show. All right, um... Tonight's show is being broadcast on C-SPAN. C-SPAN is, uh, yeah, uh, C-SPAN is like one of those paranormal activity movies. It's just grainy shots of empty rooms interrupted by images of people you're pretty sure died a few years ago. Yeah. Oh, and stay tuned after the correspondence dinner for an all-new episode of C-SPAN's hit show, So You Think You Can Remain Conscious. Very competitive. Um, this is the 100th year of the White House Correspondents Association. Yes, 100 years ago, CNN was only searching for the Wright Brothers plane. That's true. Uh, and the Correspondents Dinner itself is a tradition dating back to 1920. Back then, this event was only for men. It's true. And there's a plaque in the lobby commemorating this as the location of the very first ever Total Sausage Fest. <laughs> Hashtag Total Sausage Fest. <laughs> but that's all changed. Now America is truly a land of diversity. Only here would you find a black president, a soon-to-be Hispanic majority, and all 19 nationalities contained within Ariana Huffington's accent. <laughs> That was low. Um, 
Uh, it's a genuine thrill to be here in Washington, D.C., the city that started the whole crack-smoking mayor craze. <laughs> you guys were the first. I hope he's not here tonight. Um, people say that Toronto Mayor Rob Ford is a clumsy mess, but he can't help it. He's a big guy. He's like a bull in a crack pipe shop. Yo!